Where's your mother? My kitchen. Oh. Oh, I gotta go. Shelly, you are leaving so early. I'm gonna send Melissa to school. Why? I can send her. She doesn't want you to send or pick her up. Why? She's behaving this way because you are protecting her. Yeah, but getting angry at her is not going to make her listen. I don't want her to shut us out completely. Why do you want to make her upset? Doctor said she needs to feel safe and secure at home. You're talking to me about making family feel safe and secure at home. You, the person who enjoys controlling everyone both at home and at the office. Adam. No wonder your son doesn't want to come home. Stop it. Enough. Sorry, Pa. Wow, your new phone. Bought one for you as well. Oh, couple phones. <laughs> Am I on your speed dial and you on mine? That can be arranged. <laughs> um, you want me to help you transfer all the data to the new phone? Sure. Yep. Yeah. You sure you don't want to go through and delete anything first? There's nothing in there that you don't already know. <laughs> See you tonight. Told you a hundred times, ma'am. Sir is a good man. Um, Latika, donate these old phones. Yes, ma'am. Um. Very sorry about yesterday. Must have been a stressful day. <sighs> Very stressful day. Mel was throwing tantrums at the clinic. Adam was already upset. So when Kalila told us that Mel had been looking at the Anorasia website, Adam just lost it. I understand. How's Kalila? She's a little frightened. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. She'll be okay. She should have spoken up earlier about the websites. How? Oh, can't blame her. She's still young. She will not understand the seriousness of this situation. Adam just doesn't get it. He thinks that by scolding Melissa, she will listen. I know where he's coming from. It's... A terrible feeling to know that there is nothing you can do to help your child. Well, but getting worked up will not improve the situation. Exactly. You and Adam need to stay united. Try not to quarrel in front of the kids. You never know the impact you can have on them. I wish I had handled it better with Lila. She's a very good girl. Very resilient. She'll be fine. And so will Melissa. I'm going to get some ice. Clean this mess up. Go on. Clean it up. Serves you right for pranking me. I don't know how you can put up with him. No choice. He's my uncle. In fact, you're lucky that your brother and my aunt broke up. Otherwise, you and Eddie here will be in-laws. It would have been worth it. My brother was much happier when he was with Diana. The response to the walkathon has been overwhelming. Aaron did a great job creating a buzz. This Aaron, what is his background? He graduated from a top university and his family is in the hospitality business. They own a hotel. Then how come he's not helping out his family business? I find it strange too. In fact, when Wafi wanted to hire him, Nadia highlighted that he worked for a short period of time in Spice Union. And the references that he gave were vague. Nadia, check out Aaron's background. We must carefully consider who to convert to permanent staff? Wati? Hey, Tika. For you? 
My ma'am asked me to donate them, but I'm giving it to you. Uh, no, no, cannot. Little Mamira angry. She already said she doesn't want. You take one, send one back home. You can see and talk to your children at the same time. Can see my children? Yeah, but must buy two SIM card. Don't worry. Just stay. Charger inside. I have to go back now. Bye. Uh, th thank you. Grace, are you free? I need somebody strong to help me change the toner in the photocopy, yeah? Sure. So, how did the meeting go? Suspenseful, full of twists and surprises. Did you know Aaron's family actually owns a hotel business? Really? Handsome, young and rich. He's giving Peter Tay a run for his money. It's a long run because he's got a lot of it. So, what else was said in the meeting? Mm, oh, actually Nada didn't want to hire him because she had doubts about his background. Doubts? What doubts? Don't know? But I didn't say this, okay? They're going to make a decision soon on who to convert to permanent staff. Hmm. Okay, thanks. I owe you one. Oi, are you free? Do I look free? <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Now you are. Any help? You're beyond help. You're going travelling. Where are you going? I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm thinking of going to the US. I think I've saved up enough to go for a month. Special birthday treat. Oh yeah, next week, right? Okay, uh, let's see. First up, you should go here. Huh? I wasn't sleeping, I was studying, I swear. So, Eddie, you were asking me about my brother, Arjun? Why are you shouting? He's in bad shape. Terrible shape. I think he's trying to work himself to death. You know, get his mind off your sister. I've never seen him like this before. I hope he gets through this in one piece. For anything? Mm -mm. What about his Facebook? It's set on private. I even went through LinkedIn, MySpace, Instagram, Twitter. I even looked at the website of the hotel owned by his family. Nothing. Maybe he's just a really private person. Or he just has a lot of secrets. Right now, we have about 8 to 10 students per session. Once I confirm a place, we can hire more instructors. Your wife's family owns KS Foods. Why don't they want to invest? Make your life easier. B what's wrong? The meeting is over. But it just got started. Can you introduce us to Lim Kuang San? Please leave now. Hey, you don't have to be so rude. I said get out! Go, you okay? No, I'm not okay. Is it Melissa? Ma said Tasa mentioned she was seeing a specialist. It's not going well. It's more serious than we thought. She's been visiting some websites that promote anorexia as a lifestyle. There are such websites. That's disgusting. I lost my temper at her and she won't talk to me anymore. Give her some time. She won't stay angry at you for long. I really don't know what to do. And if she falls down, I can carry her and pick her up until her wound heals. But this, this disease is turned into another person. She just won't listen to anything we say. I can't get through to her. She's not my little girl anymore. God, just calm down, relax. You said it yourself. It's a disease, so it can be treated. Mel would get back. You can't let it get to you. Look at you now. What? You can barely control your temper. You need to get a grip. You're too emotional, just like our mom. Hey, back off, Ben. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I know you mean well, but 
I'm just not in the right frame of mind for this conversation. Oh my God, I, I, I gotta go. Hey, Futi, why is you here? Go, go. Go back to sleep. Okay. Shruti, why are you always forgetting your things? First you forget your books, keys, and now your purse. How much do you need? Uh, who is she? Oh, this is Candice. Candice, meet my scatterbrained sister, Shruti. Shruti, meet Candice. Hi. Is 50 enough? Yeah, uh, you can go now. Go quickly. You're welcome. Are we eating here? No, nothing looks good here, so let's go. Only very smart people can pull off such manipulation. Very smart people like me. You should have consulted me first. Uh, was she upset? I didn't know my idiot brother would come with the girl. Oh no, what have I done? Ah, forget it, it's not your fault. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Nothing to do will make any difference. That actually doesn't sound so... stupid. Hmm. Thanks. You can call me Grandmaster Eddie, hmm? Hey, Dad! I was just about to call you. Mom just messaged and uh, she wants us to go to Grandma's house for dinner. Uncle and Amma will be going too. No, it's okay. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm tired. Mom? Yeah, he's, uh... Dad's home. Hello? No. No. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I will go if it makes Melissa happy. First time all of us going to Grandma's house. Come on, Dad, it'll be great. Hey, bye, guys. Yeah. Hey, bye. Bye. Have fun. You're not joining the rest for drinks? No, we can't. We gotta finish up some work here. So many people not going. No fun. Who else is not going? Aaron says he doesn't drink. I was hoping to get to know him better. Now to think of other activities to get him to join us. Aaron doesn't drink. Yeah, he doesn't look like a type, right? Anyway, I gotta go. Bye! What noise is that? You went out just now to buy a handphone? No, Mum, I didn't buy. Didn't buy? From a friend. Uh, Mum, I need to go to the toilet. You have to go. Sir is waiting. Suddenly, English becomes so good. What sort of friend is that? Hi! 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 Oh, my mom and pa, they're on the way. Ma finished her mahjong late. It's okay. Dinner will be ready soon. Make yourself at home. Uh, can I get you a drink? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, I'll go there. Ma, can I help you with the food? No, it's okay. Ben and Diana can manage. Uh, he's not here. Avoiding our parents, still as stubborn as ever. He's just not ready yet, but he really cares. He cooked your family's favourite dishes, and he created this new roast beef dish just for you all. Oh, when you see him, please tell him that Melissa really likes his food. And I said thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Mommy, Uncle Eddie and Girl Gang up to cheat at Scrabble. No, we see? Really? Let me show them some girl power. Don't bully your sister. There you go, Ma. Smoothie? Jay's idea. High protein smoothie. Easy to swallow and... Melissa wouldn't know what's inside. So she can't calculate the calories. Jay's in the kitchen downstairs. Mm-hmm. But he refuses to come up. Okay, I'll bring this stuff. Shall we? Mel, see what Uncle Ben got for you. Try. It's strawberry. It's your favourite. Okay, have it. Just take some. 
It's nice. Yeah, see? Look at all the strawberries. It's good, Mel. Yep. Come. Mm. Nice, right? At least make some effort. Why did we have to come here? We could have eaten dinner at home. We need to break the routine. And Melissa likes mass cooking. Having family around as a united front is good for Melissa. United? Melissa doesn't even want to talk to me. Aku, Mama. Aku, Aku. Aku, Aku. Hi, Billy. Hi, Gonsan. Welcome. Sorry we are late. She and her mom. No, you're just in time. Hey, everyone, come. Let's eat. Let's go eat. Let's go. Ah, Honsa. Kiss and then and Billy. Grandma, I want to sit here. Okay. Eat. Eat. You like the food? Grandma's cooking the best. Hmm. How about Christopher not here today? Ah? He's working late in the office. Oh yeah, so how is he doing? I hope he's not giving you guys too much trouble. He's doing okay. <clears throat> Good. No trouble at all. Really? No trouble? He's very eager to learn. Young people nowadays don't know the value of hard work. Like my son. Your son, Jun Kai? Yeah. He only knows how to enjoy himself. Refuse to come back to his responsibilities. Useless boy. Not like your brother, Chris. Got a lot of good ideas. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know Christopher called me the other day, you know. Uh, he says um, he's got some suggestion for the goodie bags um, for, for the walkathon. I told him I was uh, working in the OG and I give free samples to people and uh, yeah, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to eat tomorrow? Grandma will cook it for you. It's okay. I prepare her lunch every day. <laughs> it's no trouble at all. Hey, one bite at a time, okay? We're not forcing you to finish everything. Aren't you supposed to be upstairs? It's okay. No one even noticed I left. Pretty much like how it was for me for most of my life. No. Poor little rich boy. Oh. Hey, I'm not, okay? You so are. I'm not. <laughs> but life's better for you now. Right? You're happy. Right? Yeah. Everything always works out in the end. We always get the life we deserve. Uh, Adam, there are cold drinks in the fridge if you like. I'm fine. <laughs> you must be very busy managing the martial arts school and taking care of Melissa. If you need any help... I don't need any help and it's none of your concern. <laughs> Melissa's my granddaughter. Of course, I'm concerned for her. Why? You're not her real grandmother. Anyway, it's been 18 years. Enough is enough. What? Stop pretending to be so nice and helpful and understanding. Why can't my brothers and sisters see what sort of person you really are? Adam, I think this misunderstanding between us has gone on for long enough. Misunderstanding. Okay? Let's look at the facts. You knew my father was married, and yet you insisted on carrying on the affair. You got yourself pregnant and forced him to leave his wife. My mother committed suicide because of you. I don't... What did I misunderstand? Are you sure those are the facts? By the time you were 16, you were hardly at home. You're mixing with bad company and getting into all sorts of trouble. So? What's that got to do with anything? Did you really know what was really happening at home? What it was really like between your parents? You're just twisting things. No, she's not! Oh 
Adam, your parents' marriage was already over before Ma came to the picture. Even you are taking her side. I was there, remember? We were dating. You used to tell me how your mom would pick up a fight with your dad and shout at all of you guys all the time. Once I even saw her hitting Ben. She's your mom and it's natural that you want to remember her at her best. Mama has been taking care of your family ever since your father passed away. Can you please be fair to her? Mom? What's going on? You know that girl Arjun was with today? I don't think they're serious. She's probably just an acquaintance or something. Don't know. Don't care. We're just friends. I'm happy as long as he's happy. Anyway, I'm full. You wash. <laughs> Thank you, Ah. Where are you going? Adam! What's wrong with him? Just came back and now he's gone out again. Always losing his temper and stubborn like a bull. How to go far like that? Hi, Leanne. Oh, morning, Billy. Hey, you're up early. Here for breakfast. Oh, no. I want to book you to cater for me next week. Sure. What's the occasion? Oh. Charity Walkathon, mm. organized by KS Food. I am in charge of the press launch. <laughs> a lot of reporters are, and the VIPs are coming, so I must make sure the food is good. Okay. Ah, ah, can I distribute this? Of course. Okay. Oh, yesterday ah, the food was so delicious. This morning when I wake up, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> oh, who cooked that? Ah? You or Ben? Uh, it was Chef Jay. Oh. Then I shall book him to cater for me.